G'day folks, Lord Reeds with you and it's about the Olympics. The Olympics is coming up in 2021 in Tokyo and Lord Reeds encourages each and every one of you to move mountains to get there and support Tokyo because we love Japan. They're supposed to have the Olympics in 2020 but unfortunately the pandemic mucked things up and they had to be deferred 12 months. So thank you Tokyo. Thank you, Japan, for doing the right thing and postponing it. It was a very big decision. But now, Lord Riggs would like to talk about the Olympics generally. Whilst I'm going to make every effort to get over to Tokyo for the 221-220 Olympics, I'd like to talk about some sports that have been considered for the Olympics in years gone by and some sports that I think are just absolutely ridiculous that have been accepted by the Olympics at the expense of one sport that I think is thoroughly deserving to be a regular part of the Olympics and that is 10-pin bowling. 10-pin bowling is played worldwide and for those nations that don't have 10-pin bowling alleys then let's help them develop the sport of 10-pin bowling in those countries. Now, what we need to do, if you love 10-pin bowling and you're a regular player and you want to see 10-pin bowling in the Olympics as much as Lord Riggs does, and I did represent New South Wales a long time ago when I was in my early 20s and I love the sport. I was great at making finals. I always came last in the finals, but it was so much fun playing against the best in Australia and some of those uh, people went on to represent Australia in the World Cup of 10-pin uh, bowling. But let's have a look at some of the sports uh, that have been considered and accepted by the International Olympic Committee. But my point before, I was just suggesting to people who are involved in 10-pin bowling, form a global worldwide 10-pin bowling Olympic bid committee. You need to do that. I'll say it again. Form an international 10-pin bowling Olympic bid committee so you can coordinate bids every time because sooner or later, you're going to get elected. Sooner or later, Abraham Lincoln got elected. He got knocked back so many times, he finally became president. Come on, 10-pin bowling worldwide. Let's be smart. Don't be despondent at getting knocked back so many times. We are going to be successful, if not in 228, certainly 232. Let's aim for 232. Ten-pin bowling becomes a regular sport in the Olympics. Here are some sports that have uh, been knocked back in the past, um, or considered at least, by the International Olympics. Now, coming up for, for 2028, they actually considered chess. Believe it or not, chess. They have had tandem bicycle racing in the Olympics. They have had club swinging. Now that sounds interesting. It sounds a bit saucy, doesn't it? But club swinging is like getting a 10 pin bowling pin and just swinging it around. That was actually admitted in 1908 in the Olympics, club swinging. They had tug of war from 1900, 1904, 1908, 1912, right up to 1920 in the Olympics. They had whitewater rafting, solo synchronized swimming. Now there's one for you, solo synchronized swimming. Now I always thought synchronized swimming had to at least have two people in the pool at once coordinating each other and being exact. But now you can just synchronize with yourself, apparently. If you can't find a partner, what a wonderful idea. That was in the Olympics in 1984, 88 and 92. They've had rope climbing, pistol dueling. That's where you shoot the other guy and if he dies, you go get the gold medal. They, that was in 1912. Rock climbing. Um, race walking was a sport in 1904 in the Olympics. Plunging for distance diving in 1904. Now they're going to have, of all things, break dancing. 2024 at the Olympics, they're allowing break dancing, but not that traditional break dancing where the guy... Uh, on the pavement who's busking for money um, just spins on his back on the concrete. Now this is involving buildings apparently and bouncing over railings and, and almost, you know, breaking your neck. 
But I reckon breakdancing should be good if it was like the buskers. And who, who collects the most money busking gets the, gets the gold medal. But anyway, that's another story. They've had table tennis. Curling. Okay, curling is a little bit fun to watch. And I, we love Canada. But really, I mean, is it a sport? I believe the 10-pin bowling International Olympic Bid Committee should sue the International Olympic Committee for discrimination. 10-pin bowling is a fantastic sport. There's a lot of exercise involved in it. Played over three games or 16 games, people can actually lose weight playing 10-pin bowling if they ease up on the cappuccinos. Here are some sports that they will probably consider in future Olympics at the expense of 10-pin bowling. Why not consider tunnel ball, underwater soccer, piggy in the middle, chicken sexing, presidential oral sexing, head stomping, beer drinking, crab soccer, marbles, touch football, midget throwing, testicle kicking, street riding, branding, steroid using, um, cliff jumping, egg and spoon races, spelling bees, cocky Laura, one, two, three, drug taking, forcings back, cow pat throwing, bullshitting, three-legged races, what have I got up here? Fake soccer diving, injury feigning, a space shuttle racing, fake news reporting, a constant lying, a mute vows of silence. That would be a great sport to have in the Olympics. What about Yahtzee, tricycle racing, billy cart racing, hoppo, bumpo, poker machine speed losing, hazing, trolling, magic tricks, abseiling, French cricket, pole climbing, pole dancing, Pick up sticks. What about pick up chicks? Greyhound racing. Colouring in. That'd be great. How about the idiot rod dog sled racing? Speed reading, speed talking. Grizzly bear wrestling. Now, I'd like to see grizzly bear wrestling at the Olympics. How about bum scratching? Sheepdog trials. That would be great. First four boxing. Trifecta boxing. Uh, quadrilla picking. Nose picking. Aerial ping pong. Oh, my God. Why not 10-pin bowling? This is Lord Riggs. Let's get our act together, form an international 10-pin bowling Olympic big committee, people, and let's see 10-pin bowling admitted as a regular sport of the Olympics from 2032. This is Lord Riggs, Lord Protector of the Antipodes, and now 10-pin bowling ambassador worldwide, hoping you'll join me in this crusade. Thanks for watching.